tried and fail, I tried and fail, no, how I tried and how I fail. When I was down, mom. Well, well, good morning, Lionhearts. How are you guys today? I figured what better way for you to start your day than to look at that guy smoking a cigarette. I know it's not politically correct, but it just looks cool. He just looks cool. You gotta admit, I wish that were a mirror. I really wish it was. It's your old pal Jordan the Lion. How are you guys today? We're gonna have a great day. One Sunday a month, and I haven't done this in probably since the first couple of years that I lived here. One Sunday a month at the Pastina Rose Bowl, they have a massive flea market. Anything you can ever imagine finding, they probably have it there. So it's 8 a.m. The doors officially open there at 9 a.m. Adam the Woo and I are going to hop in an Uber. We're going to run down. And we're going to do some flea marketing today. It's going to be pretty fun, especially because we're both pretty much Midwesterners. He was born in Mississippi, grew up in Oklahoma and Florida. I'm from Ohio. Some of the home of the best bargain shoppers and flea marketers there ever was so that's ought to be a blast i can't wait to see what we end up with i don't plan on buying much if anything i'm going on a trip to sweden i want to save my money for that but if i see some little knickknack that i can't live without i'll probably get it and uh later today somebody's coming to buy the golf club so i know you guys have really been sitting on the edge of your seats wondering what happened with that so i don't know what'll happen but you have an idea of how we're going to start it days with jordan the lion begins now. Alright, well we've made it. And really, like I told you guys, I'm a real flea market snob, so I'm looking for good deals out here. And I'm looking for the Crypt Keeper action figure. And look what I found. Not quite the Crypt Keeper, but... What are you here for today? I'm not here for a long time, but I'm here for a good time. Good answer. Well, we have entered the flea market. Let the fun begin. Adam the Woo. Ooh. Oh, Beast Man. Oh man, I love denim style, so this place is amazing. Check that out. So right now we're just walking through the inside, like the inner rim of the bowl, but they have you take these little offshoots outside and the whole outside rim of this place is uh, more stuff to buy. And this is the kind of stuff I like. They're really like kind of unique, old stuff, vintage Americana. I love finding unique things like that. Things that you wouldn't find just anywhere else. This is kind of like Ohio flea market type stuff. Check this out, man. This is a really incredible military display of things you can buy. Oh, wow. Wow. He has a Appetite for Destruction, the re-release version on record that I don't have, so I might get that. It's a really reasonable price. I love this stuff. Oh, man, I'd look good in that hat, too. That's sad. I might have to get that hat. Check out this. Little lion. Oh, it's one of those mini guitars. Did you guys see that signed picture of Liberace there? I'm not really a big Liberace fan, other than the idea that he got to be as crazy as he wanted. But after seeing uh, Behind the Candelabra, you get a little bit better idea of what he was really like. It was a little disturbing, but it's a great movie if you haven't seen it. Check out the Mike Trout hats. Whoa, signed picture and Jersey of Pete. I would love to own an accordion. I saw these from kind of far away and I thought they were pretty cool. Looks like it's uh, puzzles. One's Mae West and one is uh, 
WC Field, so I'm guessing it's from My Little Chickadee. He's got a lot of autograph stuff here. Marcus Allen, $500 Bo Jackson. His Pete Rose is a legit autograph, however, the company that authenticated it has a very bad reputation. Oh, WC Field. <laughs> hey Adam, I noticed you broke your phone the other day. Are you interested in this one? Oh yeah. <laughs> You know what that can you is? can you vlog with that? It's an old butt set for a phone phone guy. Okay. Not just these pipes, but check yeah, this thing out. I don't even know what that is. So far, so good. Thirty minutes in, I've seen about ten things I'd like to buy, and I haven't bought one of them. Good job, Jordan. In case you forgot where we are. Not quite hot enough today for a parasol. We thought it'd be really hot. So this just blew my mind. This guy creates these, and what you do is you can actually put your phone inside there and it comes out through the horn like a, an old kind of Victrola idea. And you can actually charge it from the bottom, run your cables through there, so cool. And he's actually, this is the last time he's gonna be out here. He said he's moving to Arizona, so I may have to get one of these. These are so cool. Okay, this is more of my speed, for real. This is what I want. Wow, she makes some really amazing mosaics here. Check those out. I'll say this, everything that I've inquired about as far as prices has been pretty reasonable for what I expect, or even maybe a little less. Those interesting horn, kind of Victrola devices that have the bicycle horns and the various horns. I didn't film a whole lot there because he was playing Beatles music and I'll definitely get copyright flags, but uh, every single one that he put his phone in has a different sound because of the different horn, which is pretty cool. And um, it's just that they were all $100 or more. These are really cool. I really like this like mermaid one. Oh, this is a great one. This is a great one. A pirate treasure chest. Look at that. The aquamarine helmet. Man, great stuff. The Michelin man. Oh, so cool. Well, I actually just made my first $3 purchase of the day. I bought a vintage curly from the Three Stooges pinky ring. So now you know, folks. And the line is very short. <laughs> Say it again, baby. All right, man. <laughs> Serious lemonade. Serious lemonade. The real deal. If you were looking for your Bordello tokens for the red light district, they're right here. Two dollars each or three for five. Alfred E. Newman. And if you're looking for a chastity belt, That's there you go. <laughs> Can't go wrong with Elvis. It's the gospel era. And now we've actually made our way outside of the actual Rose Bowl itself and we're in the kind of the parking area. And the parking area, well, what normally would be parking area for Rose Bowl events, they actually take that completely over for the flea market as well. Well, this is like a Beatles heaven. Saw a lot of Beatles stuff in here when I walked by. Classic. Wow, that's cool. It's like an old Cooley High type hat. Here we go. Classic rock shirts and old shoes. Awesome shirt. That's cool. 
Why do you collect specific shirts? Wow. <laughs> because I can't sell. It's melted. No, I have one. Grab me with two. <laughs> Sanitary <laughs> Tortilla Factory? Okie dokie. The Rocketeer? Aww. Why so sad, Lion? These old vintage shoes. And they actually have like some old vintage boxing gloves as well. Just chilling. Well, maybe I'll get some new cufflinks. They're only $3 a pair. Maybe I'll find a better pair than what I'm using for the wedding. I love my top hats. Let's try this old beaver top hat on. I have always looked for a great top hat, and this is an original beaver top hat. Kind of reminds me of the Captain Beefheart one, so I might get it. It's pretty reasonably priced, actually. I am the proud owner of my own top hat, and I even talked him down five bucks, so I got it extremely cheap. I love it. Typical vlogger. We've decided we're just about gonna call it a day. We made it through not even a fraction of the outside, but we just keep seeing so much cool stuff and we know we can't keep buying stuff even though we've bought very little. We want to buy everything. I have spent almost no money. This hat was $30, this top hat. And for a vintage beaver skin top hat, those are usually $100 or more. And now I have something in common with this guy. Those are great, man. John Juan would love those. Wow, look at that Mickey bag. Signed by Andy Warhol. This guy really loves Cleveland. Wow, that reminds me of the old uh, guitar that Richie Valens used to play. Much smaller, but that thing is old. I don't think it's a silver tone, but it kind of has that appearance. Well, I think we have agreed that we are just about ready to get out of here. What a great time. I feel like I'm looking at the Dick Cavett set right now. Pretty cool. They actually have a few of them rolled up still for sale. Kind of like lost <laughs> oh, speaking of Victrolas and phonographs, I love this kind of stuff. Old classics. Old doctor's bag. Good times. We're just walking back. Adam bought a really amazing 1958 Disneyland map. We're gonna go pick that up and get out of here. <laughs> All right, Adam. First impressions of the Rose Bowl flea market. I thought it was amazing. Me I too. It was incredible. It was a little overpriced on some stuff, but. If you take that equation out, probably one of the best flea markets I've ever been to. It's incredible how much stuff is in there. That's a guy who's been to a lot of flea markets. I have been. And I got one pimpin' top hat. Wow, that is rad. When I was down the ones I loved, told me to pick some nothing. I just wanted to thank Leona Greenlow Turner for becoming my newest Patreon. Thank you very much. Well, look who made it home, and he is tired. That is a tired little guy. Well, the heat did not disappoint. It found time in its busy schedule to come outside and roast me to death. And uh, my aunt and my sister and I were having like a text conversation. We were laughing because we were reminded about how my grandmother, when she was alive, used to say that she blamed this on... Uh, she said... It's because those guys went up into space and were messing around up there. We didn't have this kind of weather before they went up into space. <laughs> For the gangster eater in your life. And if you're wondering why I'm not wearing my new hat, it's just, I forgot it. Force a habit. I put it on the uh, Socrates statue earlier and then when I walked out I saw this one sitting there. I just grabbed it.
Douglas Fairbanks? All right, gang. Well, I'm going to call it a night. I actually just sold the golf club, so I'm still in the positive today. Even though I bought like very minimal stuff, I still made money. So awesome day. And uh, I got an awesome hat. Not even a novelty. I'm actually going to wear that pretty often. Like, I don't wear a ton of hats, but um, when I do, as long as it's not hiking, I'm probably going to be wearing that hat out in public. So I love it. I think it's awesome. Like I told Adam today, he heard me... Uh, texting on my phone he's like what are you tap dancing over there and I was like hey man it's a whole new era with this hat the rules and the game has changed it's a whole new era so have a great night guys and uh from your old pal Jordan the line I hope that today's vlog was uh pretty entertaining for you I always strive to do something different from day to day than what I did the day before so that it doesn't uh get to a point where people just expect a certain thing I love to do different things and I love to show different things so have a great night, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night.